Today we are looking at lead code number 234. It's called palindrome linked list. And this one can be a little bit confusing, but we'll go through it step by step. It's not too bad once we get our head around it. Uh, okay, so given the head of a singly linked singly link list, return true if it's a palindrome. Example one, we have one, two, two, one, uh, and that is true. Example two, we have one, two, that is false. And um, the constraint is, is the numbers in the nodes uh, in the list will be one to 10 to the fifth. And uh, the node values will be zero uh, to nine. And then here's the follow up. Could you do it in linear time and constant space? Okay, so if you do the brute force, it's not too bad, right? You just throw all these values in an array and then check if it's a palindrome and you're done. The only issue with that is is that you have to create new space. Then you're gonna do you're gonna have linear space. So how can we do this in constant space? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our conceptual overview here. So let's say we have the numbers one, two, two, three, two, two, one. Okay, we have a linked list here. Go ahead and fill in our pointers. And we want to figure out if this is a palindrome, and we want to figure out how to do this in constant space without putting it into an array, but just do it with the linked list. Well, we can't go backwards. Normally what we would do is we would check if one and one is a palindrome, if two and two is a palindrome, three and three. We'd go from the outside and the inside and we'd keep on going. And if, if any of those numbers did not uh, equal each other, then we would return uh, false. And if they did, we'd just keep on moving until we ran out of numbers. But with linked list, the pointers only go in one direction, right? That's the issue. So the other way we could get, uh, do a palindrome is let's say we start in the middle, right? We take this middle value and then we move outwards. We say, okay, is this the same? Is this the same? Is this the same? That's the other way we could check if it's a palindrome. But again, these pointers only go in one direction. So that doesn't work. So what we can do here is we can use a method called two pointers. Uh, it's part of Floyd's algorithm. And what we're doing here is we're going to have two pointers going at different speeds. Okay, so we're going to have a fast pointer and a slow pointer. And on each incrementation, the fast pointer will move two spaces and the slow pointer will move one. So here, our fast pointer moves here, our slow pointer moves here. Fast pointer moves two spaces, slow moves one, fast moves two, it gets to the end here, and slow comes here and lands on three. And what we can assume through Floyd's algorithm is that wherever this slow pointer ends at, it's going to be the middle of the list. That's gonna be the midpoint of the list, okay? And now what we can do is if we know where the midpoint is, what we can do is we can take this part of the list here and reverse it. Okay, so we can change these arrows to point in the other direction. Okay, and this will point to null. Okay, and now we can return a reference to this reverse link list on this side, and we also have a reference to the start of the link list. Okay, and now all we have to do is just increment and say, okay, does this equal? Does this equal? Yeah, they do. We move the reverse over here, and we move this slow uh, over here. And do they equal? Yes, they do. And then does this equal, and does this equal, and yes, they do. Okay? And, th and then we can, if we make it through the entire list, we also keep track of the length of the list. When we do this first traversal from slow to fast, we can also get the length of it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is our len. And then we can just increment both these pointers uh, the length of the list. And if at any point they don't equal each other, we can say that the linked list is not a palindrome. And if they do equal each other and we make it through the entire, uh, the entire length, then we can say it is a palindrome. Okay, so not too bad. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and code this up. Okay, so first what we want to do is we want to have a helper function for reversing a linked list. First, okay, we'll have a head input. And reversing a linked list, this is one of those classic problems that always trips people up 
um, I would highly suggest if you're in, in an interview situation to just draw it out on a whiteboard, make sure uh, you get your pointers right because it's very, very easy to, to get this all mixed up. But what we want to do essentially is we want to create a current variable and set it to our head. We want to create a prev variable and set it to null and then have a next variable. We can just leave that undefined. And we can say while we're at current, while we have a current node, what do we want to do? We want to set our next variable to current.next. We want to set current.next to our previous node. We want to set our previous to current, and then we want to set our current to next. And then we want to return our prev. Uh, th this video is not about reversing a linked list. Um, I, I will make a second one about rever reversing a linked list and we'll go step by step on how to do this. But um, just want to make sure that if you are in an interview situation to not try to pull this from memory but actually do the pointers. It's very easy to make a mistake uh, with, this, with this method. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go over here. And what did we want to do? Well, we want to use the two-pointer technique. Uh, it's from Floyd's algorithm. And we want to uh, use a fast and slow pointer. So we'll have a fast pointer. We'll set it to head. We'll have a slow pointer. We'll set that to head. We're going to have a start pointer. OK, and we'll set that to head. And we are going to have a length pointer. And we'll set that to 0. Okay, and now we're going to run two while loops. So we're going to say while fast and fast.next. Okay, fast is going to equal fast.next.next. .next, and slow is going to equal slow.next. Okay, and so all we're, all we're doing here is we're doing that traversal where two fast, every one, one slow, two fast, one slow. And then we're just going to uh, increment our length variable. Now we know the slow is at the mid, right? So we can say let mid, and then we want to reverse wherever slow is at. So we can go ahead and use this helper uh, function here and uh, pass in slow. And that's going to reverse the list from that midpoint. OK, and now we can just say while length is true, we'll decrement length. And all we want to do is we want to check if mid.val does not equal uh, start pointer.val, then we return false, and then we just increment mid and start. So mid is going to equal mid.next, and start pointer is going to equal start pointer.next. And then if we make it through that loop, then we just return true. We can assume that um, it is a palindrome. Oh, we want to do length. I'll just call this len here. There we go. OK, and we're good. OK, so let's take a look at uh, time and space complexity here. OK, so how many times are we iterating through this this input uh, based on the the um, size of the input well let me just go ahead and clear this one two two three two two one okay so we have one I'll use a white white color here one two two three two two one so we're going to do one pass to get the fast and slow pointers. OK, and then we're going to reverse this from the midpoint. And then we're going to do another pass from the, from the um, end in the front. OK, so we're doing two passes. So our O would be O of 2n. OK, and then we can just, we can just uh, approximate that to O of n. So our time complexity, I'll write it over here is going to be O of n. And then our space complexity, well, we're not creating any new space. We're not creating a new list. We're not, uh, we're, we're changing the list in place. 
And so um, our space complexity will be constant space. Okay, which is pretty good. Okay, so that is linked list. Uh, that is uh, lead code number 234, palindrome linked list. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.